Hello Libra and welcome to this corner of the internet that is Wild Fox Alchemy. If we haven't met before, my name is Maria Guyon. I am an intuitive business success coach and tarot card reader. And I'm here to do your business and finance reading for October 2021. Let's get cracking, let's hang out, have a chat about what is going on in October for you. So we start with your finance reading across the top here. And we have Elephant Spirit, Learn from the Past. Okay, what do you need to learn from the past about your finances there, Libra? Have you had some feast and famine in your business? You need to learn that when feast comes, it's a good idea to save for famine. What is it? Where you need to focus your energy, the world, fulfillment and celebration. Fantastic. This is about you coming full circle. This is about fulfillment and achieving your goals. That's where you need to focus your energy on fulfilling things. Spirit just said to me that sometimes you don't finish what you start. It's an interesting one. Your strength, the king of acorns, optimism and innovation. Oh, I can't tell you, Libra, how happy I am because I've just done two really heavy readings for Aquarius and Pisces where it's really felt like for them things have been falling apart. And I thought, oh, flipping heck, this is really like heavy stuff. And I hope that they're going to be okay. I hope that they're, well, they will be okay. The readings came out positive in the end, but they had some pretty nasty stuff to go through. This is such a relief to have a reading like this that's very positive. Blockages, possible obstacles, three of feathers, release and recovery. And the outcome is the six of acorns, success and triumph. Amazing. Oh, this is brilliant. This is brilliant for your finances this month, Libra. What a great start. So we need to learn from the past. What is it that you need to learn from the past? There's something that you need to learn from the past that is the key to you getting this success and triumph at the end. So what is it? What are the patterns that you normally that you normally follow? All of us are memory based creatures. We must revisit the past to understand where we are now and where we are going. What story do you need to tell? What is it that you need to learn? There's something there's something in your past that you need to learn from here financially. And I don't know whether it's making a bad investment, whether it's hoarding money and not growing a business. I don't know. You'll know better than I do what it is that you need to learn from the past. What mistakes have you made that you look back on today and go, oof, that was stupid. I don't ever want to do that again. Equally, what successes have you had in the past? You know, we're very quick to look at our failures and go, oh, that didn't work. What a mess. But maybe it's time for you to look at things that have happened in the past that have been very successful for you so that you can repeat those things again. Because this is a really good positive reading here. We've got the world, fulfillment and celebration. You need to be concentrating your energy on achieving your goals. You need to have goals to start with. <laughs> Do you have goals? Because you need goals. Everybody needs goals. If you don't have a goal in business, what are you, what are you doing? What are you here for? You know, you must have concrete goals to work towards. So... Maybe that's what you need to learn from the past, that you've never had a plan before. Now you need to have a plan. You are definitely being told now to focus your energy financially on fulfillment of goals, on coming full circle, on completing things. Because when you complete things, you get paid. Marvellous. That's what we need. Your strength's the king of acorns. And I love him. He's one of my absolute favourite cards. He is an entrepreneur he's optimistic he's innovative he brings people together he's a visionary he's a natural leader so you need to be looking at some innovative new ideas by the looks of things your strengths are your innovation your optimism the fact that you feel good the fact that you make other people feel good blockages three of feathers this is about needing to let go of some negative energy a feeling that you've had some loss but it's temporary that you need to let it go now this is a blockage so it's either that this negative energy needs to be let go of and you're not you're not quick to let go of it or that in some way you are suppressing your feelings and not 
not moving forward. I'm going to clarify that card because I'm not entirely sure why. Why that's come up. What negative feelings are you having that you need to let go of? It's possible that this is something from the past. I'm getting the feeling that it is linked to this learn from the past. That maybe something's gone wrong for you before and you're worrying about that now. Ooh. Yeah, we've got the Eight of Swords there. This is about limiting beliefs. Feeling blindfolded. Feeling like you haven't got any opportunities. That you're lacking some choices. And this is blocking you from all this wonderful success at the moment. Why? Why is that? You have opportunities. You can take the blindfold off. You're not as trapped as you think you are. Something's happened in the past that's trapped you, hasn't it? But you need to let go of it. That is the message that I'm being told. You need to let go of it. We've got the Three of Pentacles there. And this is about you being productive, planning. Planning again. That's come up again in my mind. The planning. Maybe you've never planned before and you need to have goals. You need to, to set some goals there to do some learning, some collaborating with others. Interesting. I'm going to go again on that one. Oh, we've got the tower. Okay. So I get the feeling that this is not really about today, this tower moment. I believe that this blockage is linked to things that have happened in the past and that are lingering. And you need to let go of them. You need to let go of whatever happened. There was change. There was destruction. There's been something that came in. But what you need to understand is that better times are coming. This card although it looks devastating, always means that better times are coming. And you have these better times. And I'm being told you need to stop dwelling now on whatever this past issue was. Because I feel like you fear it's going to happen again. But it doesn't need to happen again, does it? Because you're going to learn from what happened before to make sure that the past does not repeat itself. I've got the Five of Pentacles there. This is about your mindset. It's all about mindset. Are you going to have a mindset of poverty, loss, stress, worry? Or are you going to have a mindset of possibility? Of what could come into you? Because you need to have the mindset of, of positivity. I feel like there's something that's happened in the past. You're dwelling on it way too much. You're in fear of it happening again. And what we focus on, we get more of. So we don't want to be focusing on past struggles. We want to be focusing on the positives. What good has come out of these things? And we also need to say to ourselves, whatever mistake we made in the past, whatever foul up happened, we can learn from it now. We can do things differently so that we don't have to make similar mistakes again. But at the end of this financial reading, we've got this six of acorns. This is about success and triumph. It's about power, enthusiasm, leadership, confidence. The money is there. It's waiting for you. But you are just clinging on to some past worries. There's a lot of success there, a lot of success. It's not saying that there's loads of financial gain. I don't feel that there's a lot of money coming here. But I do feel that, like abundance is there. There is abundance there and success is there, whatever success means to you. So let's look at your business reading. We've got soul family calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Well, that's an interesting one because it's time to call in your soul family and support team. People who get you at soul level. People who are the same kind of weird as you. People who are your chosen family. They are coming and they are looking for you. If you haven't found them yet, this is a sign that they are close by. But in order for them to find you and recognise you when they do, it is important that you stop dimming your light and truly let yourself be seen. If you have already found them, then you are being called to let them support you and perhaps also assemble a wider support team. 
Your support team can consist of all types of people, such as a therapist, a coach, a mentor or healer. Tune in to what kind of support you need now. So this is suggesting that you might need a bit of support in your business this month, but that there are people there to support you. This could be that you need to build a community of people to help, that you help, but that in return will support you and your ventures financially and emotionally. You know, there's nothing nicer than having a community of people who all un understand who you are and, and what you're all about. Where you need to focus your energy is on the Ten of Crystals, Stability and Attainment. This has a very similar feeling to this world card for me. It's about success. It's about accumulation of wealth. It's about family stability as well. It can be about retirement, but I don't feel like that's the issue here. I do feel like you're seeking some... I do feel family, family here. Maybe you don't really have much of a family or a supportive family. So this is kind of... I'm being called to tell you to create your own family. Your family isn't just created by blood. You can create your family. You can create your family. Your strengths are the queen of acorns, your passion and creativity. Wow, okay. Can't really say much more than that. <laughs> this is somebody who is the life and soul of the party. People are drawn to her in the same way that they're drawn to him. He's more of a leadership role. She's not so much. She kind of leads from behind in a way. She's she's more one of, of the, the crowd, I guess, in a way. She doesn't lord her queenliness over people. I feel very much like this is definitely a, a, a guide for you to sort out some sort of community. That you need to gather a community together and that you will be the life and soul of it. You will encourage people in, you will support and be supported through it. Possible obstacles. We've got the wheel, change and possibilities. This, yeah, this is so strange. You're blocking your change and possibilities, and I feel like it's because you can't see them. You can't see them, Libra. You're, you're not looking properly at them. For whatever reason, there's something in the past that is stopping you looking at the possibilities that you have open to you now. And you need to change that. You need to look. Because, look at this, we've got the magician. Willpower and creation. There's a lot of creativity in here, but the magician always appears to remind you that you are limitless, that you can manifest anything you want. You can create, you can take inspired action, use your willpower to make what you want happen. So this is a really, really cool reading, actually. I'm going to have one last look at the wheel and see what comes out there. I've got the King of Pentacles, Reward ambition rewards reliability he's the king of business he is the king of business and by blocking your possibilities you're blocking your success there i mean he is like i said the king of business he is absolutely there that is you that is you so you need really to be looking at why you're blocking this stuff and can you can you fix it we've got the three of swords which is the same as the three of feathers. You need to let go of this negativity. There's some negativity that is you're carrying over from your past and you need to let go of it. The spirit is reminding you that you can create whatever it is you want. You can manifest anything that, it is, that you want. You've got so many fantastic cards here that are representative of prosperity and success. And then we've got the Three of Wands. Foresight and exploration. How do I make my plans happen? It's a, a card of confidence. This is, again, you need to plan. You need to plan. I strongly feel that you need to journal. That you need to write down your fears. That you need to write down what it is that is negative. Any negative thoughts, any fears, any feelings that are coming up for you around your money and around your business success and think about where they've come from where they've originated 
what has happened to you in the past that has caused you to feel a little bit of fear and a bit of negativity about things that could be blocking your success. Now, we've talked about your money and what could be blocking things there, but with this it could be that you've you've tried to do things alone and it's not worked. Or it could be that you've tried to build a tribe before and it's not worked. So you're thinking, oh, I don't really want to... I don't really want to do it again, but things have changed. Things have changed. Learn from the failures before and change things. If you've tried to build a community before and it was crickets, why? Why was it crickets? What went wrong? Do you need to learn something that would help you to be the life and soul of the party? But actually, I don't think you need to learn to be life and soul of the party because your strengths are your passion and creativity. You can creatively create a community of people. There's so much goodness in this reading, Libra. And I just feel like your outcomes, success and triumph, your willpower and creation are, are, are just saying it all. There's just this little bit of inner work that needs to be done. This little bit of letting go of this last bit of negative en energy, this possible emotional trauma or loss or, or something that's happened to you in the past that you worry about. It's at the back of your mind and you worry about it. But you worrying about it is preventing you strongly moving forward into this success that you deserve because there's success written all over this reading there really is so the answer to it is to just plan it out plan out what you're going to do and boost your confidence in any way you can i've got a freebie you'll see it in the description below try it listen to it it's only about 22 minutes long listen to it for 21 days and see how your confidence improves, as if by magic, I tell you. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there. Please do like, subscribe and share with somebody that might need to hear this message today. Give me a message in the comments. Did this resonate with you? Do you understand exactly what I'm talking about? If it didn't resonate with you, maybe next time I'll go and kick rocks if it didn't resonate. And I will see you next time. With love and magic always, this is Maria Guyon signing out. Mm -hmm.